Hi guys, our learning intention for today is by the end of this lesson, you will be able to use your third rules to simplify thirds. Let's look at a few examples. Roots that are irrational are called thirds. Law 1 states that the square root of a times the square root of b is equal to the square root of a times b. And similarly, the square root of a divided by the square root of b equals the square root of a over b. For example, the square root of 20 can be written as the square root of 4 times 5, which is equal to the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. Simplifying this gives us 2 root 5. The square root of 5 over 9 can be written as the square root of 5 over the square root of 9, which is equal to the square root of 5, and the square root of 9 gives you 3. So this solves to root 5 over 3. Please take down these two laws. Here we're going to use the following rule. The square root of a times b equals the square root of a times b which is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. Let's look at the following factor. To simplify the square root of 72, we look for a factor that is a square number and write it as a sum. For example, the square root of 72 is the same as the square root of nine times eight. The square root of nine times the square root of 8 can be simplified to 3 root 8. Let's try another example. Let's write the square root of 75. The square root of 75 can be written as the square root of 25 times 3. Look for a factor that is a square number. This gives us the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. The square root of 25 is equal to 5, which gives you 5 root 3. When simplifying thirds, write your third in terms of its factors, where one of the factors is a square number, and simplify from there. Squaring thirds. Put into your calculator root 36 times root 36. You'll see that you get 36. Let's try another one. Root 100 times root 100 gives you 100. When squaring any third, the squared and your square root cancel out. The square root of 64 squared equals 64. Let's say we have 2 root 7 squared. In this case, we have to use our indice rules. AB to the power of Q is the same as A to the power of Q times B to the power of Q, i.e. 2 root 7 squared is equal to 2 squared times root 7 squared. This simplifies 2. 2 times 2 gives you 4 times 7 which leaves us with a final value of 28. Let's look at the following values. Root 25, root 144, square root of 81, square root of 64, the square root of 196, and the square root of 225 are not thirds. These are all called perfect squares. All of these can be written as a whole number whereas root 7, root 24, and root 92 are all thirds as they are irrational numbers. Let's look at how we can add thirds. 2 root 3 plus 4 root 3. When adding thirds, we collect like terms in the same way that we would in algebra. 2 root 3 plus 4 root 3 gives me 6 root 3s. Let's try another one. 8 root 5 minus 2 root 3 
plus 4 root 5 minus 1 root 3. We collect terms and add like terms in the same way that we would in algebra. 8 root 5s plus 4 root 5s gives you 12 root 5s. Minus 1 minus 2 root 3s minus 1 root 3 leaves me with minus 3 root 3s. Remember, when there's no value on the outside, it's the same as saying 1. Think of each third as an act and collect like terms when you're adding and subtracting. 4 root 2 minus 2 root 2 leaves you with 3 root 2s. Let's look at how we can multiply thirds. 2 root 7 times 4 root 6. Let's write out the sum the long way first. This is the same as saying 2 times root 7 times 4 times root 6. Multiply together your like terms. 2 times 4 gives you 8 times root 7 times root 6. We know from our third rules that root a times root b is the same as saying root a times b. This leaves us with 8 times square root of 7 times 6, which gives you 42. Our final answer is 8 root 42. Let's try another one. Write root 27 plus root 12 in the form of k root 3. Please remember that the square root of a, b is equal to the square root of a times b, which is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. To write our equation root 27 plus root 12 in the form of k root 3, we must write both terms in the form of k root 3 first. Root 27 is equal to root of 9 times 3. Find the factors of 27, which include 3. Simplifying this, we get root 9 times root 3. Root 9 is a perfect square, which can be written as 3. And we're left with 3 root 3. Find the factors of 12, which include 3. The factors of 12, which include 3, are 4 times 3. Root 12 can be written as the square root of 4 times 3. Simplifying this, we get root 12 is equal to root 4 times root 3. Root 4 simplifies to 2, and we're left with 2 root 3. Now that both terms are written as a square root of 3, we can add them together. 3 root 3s plus 2 root 3s leaves us with 5 root 3s.